What's up guys? I'm always pretty excited to get a new bit of camping gear. But today I'm especially excited because it's a new product that lets me make the most of something I already own, which is of course my Coleman Hyperflame stove. By the way, when I say new product, I mean new product for me because these have been out for a couple of years now. I just didn't know about them. So this is the official Coleman Hyperflame barbecue plate, hot plate, I think they call it a griddle. And what this basically does is convert either of the two Coleman Hyperflame stoves into a massive, massive barbecue. So I picked up mine online through Snowy's Outdoors because I found they were the cheapest from all the websites that I checked. So I'll chuck a link in the description down below to the actual model I bought off their website if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. Anyway, I'm pretty keen to check it out. So let's take it over to the bench and get it unboxed. All right, let's have a look at what comes in this box. There she is. Little drip tray. That's got a good amount of weight to it. That's a nice, nice heavy plate. I guess as you'd expect for a nice strong cast iron construction. Awesome, that's massive. That is such a nice big cooking space. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit shallower than I was expecting. I was thinking it'd be a little bit deeper, but that width is just phenomenal. Just to give you a bit of a size comparison, this is the hot plate I used to use on my old Primus stove, and that pretty much took up the whole, the whole stove on the old Primus model. And you can see with this new Hyperflame version, we're getting about an extra 15 centimeters or so of width. We do lose a little bit of the depth. That's what I was saying before, this one wasn't as deep as I was expecting, but the difference isn't huge. Probably losing maybe three centimeters. Yeah, two and a half to three centimeters of, um, of depth we're losing, but we're gaining a lot of, uh, gaining a lot of width. All right, ready for the first test fit. Probably just gonna plonk it on and see what happens. That feels, that feels pretty good. Probably should have read the instructions to make sure I'm doing this right. Oh yeah, I can see what's happening. So basically, there's four little locating pins, that, 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 and that, and those line up with these little triangles in the actual wind deflectors. So when you place it on, they sit inside there, and that's real, really firmly in place. But even just plonking it in the middle, it seems to find its way home pretty happily. Then of course, we've got a little drip tray to go on the side. So for this, there's two little locating pins underneath, so you can kind of pop that up. And then it actually rests, this part actually rests on the frame of the Hyperflame stove and that's where all the weight's taken. Beautiful, nice size, that width is just awesome. I still think they could have given us a, a bit of extra depth, uh, but anyway, it's still a, still a massive cooking surface anyway. And I'm quite liking this kind of nice flat finish, it means cooking things like uh, pancakes, fried eggs, all that stuff where you actually have to scrape along the flat. That shouldn't be too much of an issue because sometimes with the more the more ridged plates, like that one there. It's not too bad really, but you can get a bit hung up on those bumps when you're trying, trying to flip a fried egg or something like that. So pretty happy with the finish on that. Something else I'm actually kind of hoping for as well is if I kind of pop that under there, I think I'm gonna be able to close this down with the hot plate on. Yes, look at that. Stow it away like so. That gives me one less thing to find somewhere to pack. So really, really happy about that as well. Anyway, guys, that's the uh, Coleman Hyperflame official hot plate, barbecue plate, griddle, whatever you want to call it. As I said, I'll chuck a link to where I bought mine in the description down below if you're wanting to get one the same because they were the cheapest place I found during my research. As always, thanks so much for watching and happy camping. I'll catch you in the next one.